outside of Chicago, a guaranteed rate for you. Major League Baseball on tap on this Thursday night. It's the Oakland Athletics going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now, our starting pitcher in this one, Michael Kopech. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating for tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when, when it seems like there's more pressure. He's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And, all right, let's take a look at the lineup. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits. And Siggy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. If, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. In time to Vaughn. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, number 44. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He circles the bases and just like that, they're out in front. It's 1-0. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So two down, here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. In the air, barely deep to right field. Number 22 settles underneath it, makes the play, and it's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and today's starter, Ken Waldenchuk. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Elvis Andrews stands in now and watches strike one. And fouled off. And that's a strikeout looking. Called strike three at a fastball up in the zone. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count. Just a poor at bat. Luis Robert stands in but two away as he takes a ball. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Swing and a ball popped up. Diaz in position. He's got it. And that is out number three. Offense held a check there. We head to the second on the south side. It's the A's one and the White Sox nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in for Oakland. Oledmis Diaz. Cope back to work. Hit hard on the ground is short. Over to first. One out in the second. Jordan Diaz digs in now. That one ripped. Robert tracks it down for the out. And now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one the other way. Brings it in, and that is the third out of the inning. And the A's are gone in order, but they hold a 1-0 lead. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the White Sox DH, Aloy Jimenez. The pitch. And that's through there for a strike. 
Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Diaz moving under this one. Pulls it in for the out. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity in the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Right, makes the grab for the second out. So up next for Chicago, number 22. First pitch doesn't find the zone. a strike. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. One, two, three. Go the White Sox. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back out of the third inning. And now the center fielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. Next up for the A's, Nick Allen. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Out towards right center field. Number 22 under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Jonah Bry up next for the A's. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Hit the air right field. Number 22 drifts towards it, and that's the third out. And one, two, three go the A's. But they're on top, one nothing. Back at guaranteed right field, digging in, Trace Thompson, the left fielder, Walton to Chuck, back to work. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Walton to Chuck, in his rookie season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. 0-2 now. Struck him out looking. Gosh, here it is, hit it. Three pitch strikeout, all fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. At the play, number 36. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. This one popped up, foul ground, first base side. Dives, what a play! Tony Kemp coming into the game now as the injury replacement. And up next for Chicago, Lennon Sosa. Swing and a foul straight back. Sosa in his rookie season, 23 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Swung on, popped up, left side. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Down in order go the White Sox. They still trail 1-0. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Zach Gellar. Grounded out his first time up. The pitch. Line drive, base hit right field. all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Tony Kemp. Ground ball right side could be two. Glove flip for one. How about that double play? Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Hit it well to fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. 
right field. Number 22 under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here on the south side, John Chobby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Tim Anderson. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And he deals. Just missed. You know, Boog, I can relate to Tim Anderson with my football background and baseball background. He played Little League Baseball, but then decided to focus on basketball until he got hurt his sophomore year of high school. He then went back to baseball as a junior. Four years later, White Sox made him a first-round draft pick. Tim made a good choice. Yes, he did. Gellar makes the catch, and there's one down. Here's Elvis Andrews. He's all for one. And first offering is fouled off. The White Sox hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. And now it's Luis Robert. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Kemp pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is that. Shy Sox held in check here, and it remains 1-0. Here on the south side, we go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Oledmis Diaz. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. Gone! So he leaves the yard to left, and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. He ambushed him right there, Singy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Jordan Diaz up next for the A's. Down the line, it's a base hit. Still down, it's two zip. 
back at guaranteed rate field. All set for the top of the sixth. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Jonah Bry. Kopech back to work. This one in the air right field. Number 22 under it. He makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. This one popped up. Vaughn after it. Puts it away for the out. So two down now. And here is Tony Kemp. He hit it to a double play his first time up. Swings and sends a rocket to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. So they go quietly there. 7 8 9 2 up in the home half of the inning. It's the A's 2 and the White Sox nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now it's going to be Trace Thompson. Pitch. Tap of the zone and it's called a strike. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Right, makes a nice running catch. Number 36 Number steps to the play for the White Sox. And that's in there for strike one. Well, the guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes. As a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen. But you got to take what he's offering that day. and hits a fly ball, center field. Robert moves under him and makes the grab. Two away now. Now the third baseman, Jordan Diaz. Right field, down the line, and that one slices foul. A one down. Fly ball to right. Number 22 gets under it, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing there for the A's. They're up 2 nothing. Bottom of the seventh. Now here is Tim Anderson. Next pitch is popped up. Langoliers hauls it in, and there's one away. Now the number two hitter, Elvis Andrews. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Luis Robert now. That's in for a strike. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Two down, nobody on. Popped up, middle of the diamond. Allen should have this one. 
That puts the squeeze on that, <coughs> and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail things here, two nothing. Number 66 takes over on the mound. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Digging in for Oakland, Shea Langoliers. Outfield playing very deep, not walking anything over their heads. And that one hammered. That's back. And out of here. A towering shot to center is 14th of the year. It's 3 0. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Back-to-back -back base hits, just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. In the air, out towards right center. Robert on the move. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one down here on the south side. And so you spent a few years playing for the White Sox. What are those memories like? Great city, Chicago. Is along the lines of New York and, and Boston in terms of just... Ah, now this ball splits the gap in right center. Ruiz coming home. He'll score, and it's 4-0. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to model. So many positives that led to that knock. A new pitcher in the game, Jimmy Lambert. 32nd appearance. He's there. He's got it. Rudder tagging for third. And that's where your broadcasting career started as well. Indeed it did, and you know, that's how you got me. So I'd say Chicago's been pretty good to us. A bunt and it's popped up. Vaughn brings it in with a nice running grab. They put two on the board on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Athletics four and the White Sox nothing. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the DH, Aloy Jimenez. First pitch, just misses. That catches the top part of the zone. And the count one and one. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Ruiz racing over to make the catch. Still rolling to start the eighth. Just five more outs to get. Andrew Vaughn down. Popped up right side. Gellar settles underneath it. Squeezes it. And there's two down. So just four more outs to get through. And the tension is building in the ballpark right now. Yeah, and we can feel it in the booth. He's got these hitters locked up. Brooker makes the grab. That ends the inning. Shy Sox held in check here. They're down 4 nothing. We go to the ninth. And now here is Brent Rooker. And the pitch. Line drive. Come on. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter, even though you know that. This will drive you absolutely crazy. Now let me Diaz now. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A towering home run, his second home run of the game. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Next to him, Jordan Diaz. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Robert tracks it down for the out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Bunting, and he pops it up. Makes the catch in and over. Ken Waltichuk heading back out for the bottom of the ninth as he'll look to make history. Back here on the south side, here's the left fielder, Trace Thompson. And that one is lifted in the air. Bright settles under this one, and he makes the catch. One up, one down. And now, two outs away from history. Well, I hope he gets this done. I mean, this is the kind of feat that can define a career. Hard not to root for him at this point. Can't feel the dream. Pulling for him to finish the no-hitter, but most importantly, get the W for the team. 